President Donald Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, got himself into a little bit of a compromising situation, thanks to comedian Sasha Baron Cohen. Uh, so now, uh, according to The Guardian, which has seen footage of Cohen's movie. So, so Cohen made a movie, uh, Borat 2, okay, or the, like the second Borat, whatever, um, which is apparently going to be very entertaining, uh, <laughs> uh, that somehow Rudy Giuliani found himself in. Okay, so now uh, the former New York mayor and current personal attorney, Donald Trump, uh, in this movie, which he didn't know he was going to be in, I think that's really important, uh, he is seen reaching into his trousers and apparently touching his genitals while reclining on a bed in the presence of an actor playing Borat's alleged teen daughter. The actress in question, by the way, is a 24-year-old Bulgarian native Maria Bakalova. She had posed as a right-wing journalist um, interested in interviewing Giuliani to ask him about his work for President Trump. And by the way, uh, she was posing actually as a 15-year-old, a teenager, posing as a right-wing journalist in order to interview Giuliani. It gets a little weird, but again, that's, uh, that's Borat for you. As well as Giuliani, apparently. Uh, and so... Now, following the interview, Bakalova asked Giuliani to come to her hotel room for a drink. That hotel room, of course, is full of cameras. Catching Giuliani with his, basically his, his hands down his pants. There are pictures. I'm not going to show those pictures because I don't want to, first of all, I don't want to destroy the mental health of most of my audience. Uh, and number two, it could be TOS. So I don't know. I didn't want to take a chance uh, on it being TOS. Uh, but if you really, really want to see the pictures... They're on the internet. They're basically everywhere all over Twitter. So you can see it, okay? Uh, so now, according to the Guardian's account, Cohen's character then bursts into the room uh, wearing some very interesting stuff um, and tells him that she's only 15 years old and thus is, quote, too old for you. Ah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, all right, so <laughs> if you believe that 2020 could not get more insane, well, now we've got a Borat movie. Uh, and so here it is. The mental image of Rudy Giuliani playing with himself is is almost, it's like, it's like the perfect little cap to like the shittiest year on record, 2020. Um, there's more, by the way. So Giuliani talked about this before. Where did the incident actually first emerge back in July? Uh, so now Giuliani ended up calling the police to report the intrusion of what he called an unusually dressed man. <laughs> Quote, this guy comes running in wearing a crazy, what I would say was a pink transgender outfit. It's a very strange way to describe it. Uh, Giuliani told the New York Post. It was a pink bikini with lace underneath and a translucent mess top. It's really interesting how he can recall all the details of what this guy's wearing. Okay. Uh, it looked absurd. He had the beard, bare legs, and wasn't what I would call distractingly attractive. <laughs> okay. All right. He continues. He says, this person comes in yelling and screaming, and I thought this must be a scam or a shakedown. So I reported it to the police. He then ran away. The police found no crime had been committed. Uh, yep. <laughs> Giuliani continued uh, by saying, I only re later realized it must have been Sasha Baron Cohen. Uh, and, thought, and I thought about all the people he previously fooled. And it felt good about myself because he didn't fool me. He would get me. Yeah, yeah you did. I, you, look on, you look on the news... He got you. <laughs> you got Jeffrey Tubin. Okay. Th yes, that's a thing now. I, I've, I've made that up. That's a, that's a saying now, Jeffrey Tubin. It's also noted, by the way, uh, that even before he reached into his trousers, uh, Giuliani didn't exactly acquit himself impressively during the encounter. Uh, in fact, according to the Guardian's uh, uh, viewing, flattered and flirtatious, 
Uh, Giuliani drinks scotch, coughs, fails to socially distance, and claims that Trump's speedy actions in the spring saved a million Americans from dying from COVID. He also agrees, in theory, to eat a bat with his interviewer. Okay. All right. <laughs> dude had no idea what was going on. Like, come on, dude. I can almost guarantee. Uh, th again, this is a man who has, like, butt-dialed reporters before. Giuliani has got no idea what he's doing. You think he's like, oh, no, no, Sasha Baron Cohen, I was totally onto that guy. Oh, I knew I was going to get scammed. No, dude. No. No, no, no. The guy's a moron. There's no way he, he knew. <laughs> um, how utterly embarrassing. Dude got got. All right. So now, uh, I, wanna, I, I just want to read some social media reaction because I, I enjoy this. Um, one person points out, falling for Borat in the year of 2020 does not reflect well on your ability to uncover and discern factual material in other contexts. Uh, that's important because his so-called so October surprise was like Hunter email or Hunter Biden emails in, in the laptops. No, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, another person says, don't agree to an interview with Borat. And if you do, don't fondle yourself in front of someone who says she's 15. Uh, uh, should have been something uh, all public figures learned a decade ago. Now, look, she is 24, to be fair. But she is posing as a 15-year-old, posing as a right-wing journalist. I don't know how much he knew. Probably not a lot because it's Rudy Giuliani. Don't just say it. Uh, another person points out, I don't think anyone had Borat returns and catches Rudy Giuliani touching himself in their 2020 bingo card. This year just won't quit. Well, you're absolutely right about that. Um, another person says, there's probably a 75% 75, 75 chance Borat gets mentioned in the debate. Legend. <laughs> it, it is pretty funny how Sasha Baron Cohen has this ability to get right wingers to say and do stupid things. Got to give him credit for that. It's pretty good. And finally, Maureen Dowd uh, actually spelled it out the best when she just called this entire thing, quote, beyond cringe. Nailed it, Maureen. Nailed it. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.